Hello, it's Beach Cams Man and Jack from BAM, and we're back for our second December tour. And Jack, so what's been happening now? Hard oh, loads, to be honest with you, mate. It's uh, on the run up to Christmas now, and we've obviously got the blockade works we're preparing for. So, yeah. uh, quite excited to show you today's tour, to be honest, with the link bridge and everything. So, on the right hand side, we've installed, um, I think the last time we were here in December, uh, at the start of December, we had the vacuum excavator in. Yeah. So, we were sucking out all the kind of earth that runs through here underneath the paving slabs. Um, and running the ducting in, which goes into the lighting control cubicle on the right-hand side now. Yeah. This lighting control cubicle feeds all of the new lighting in the three spans of the underpass, uh, and it also feeds the new lighting on the link bridge, and then it also goes back up into the, uh, the, the cabinet on Marine Parade, which oh, yeah. feeds all the seawall lighting down there. Okay. Wow, um, you can see the sea from now, so all the framework has gone by the looks of it. Yeah, to be honest, I'm quite, quite excited to show everybody the link bridge. It looks, looks really good. It's, completely changed the, 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 the way you look at the job as you come underneath it now. Yeah. So the forklift's just in front of us. Um, he's taken down the poly blocks. So it's basically like a, a polystyrene block, but it's designed to take a load on it. So I think the blocks we use are, it's called a fill core 140. So they're designed to take about 140 yeah. newtons of pressure. Um, these are going up onto the seawall and getting lifted up there in today's low tide. Okay. Um, and they, that's what we're going to be sitting the piling rig on. In, on top of the lift shaft where we've been pouring concrete over the Christmas blockade. But I'll take you up to the lift shaft and I'll show you that in a minute. Yeah. I suppose we'll get straight on to the, oh, uh, wow. the lift bridge. So as you come under now. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's there. amazing. You can see all the full work stripped out now. Um, and look and at the can, space you've got to work with. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> it's like nobody had known that we couldn't work in here the other week because of the space. But uh, yeah, you've got the, you can see the profile now and the, the kind of shape and the complexity of the full work formwork and full sweat that we were dealing with as we were building the bridge. Wow. That's beautiful. So it's a three span bridge. Um, longest span is the middle one, uh, which spans over the, the open culvert. Yeah. Um, the, black, the black groove that you can see underneath, that's where the strip lighting goes on to. Ah, yeah. um, so there'll be strip lighting underneath the spans. And then you can see the stainless steel hand railing up over, up over the top, which we'll go up and have a look at in a minute. Yeah. Um, and that, the, the guys have been erecting that over the space of the last week and a half, or Sto Stoneman Engineering have. Wow. So Bots have done a really good job um, of getting all the bridge kind of completed and finished up. The, the white little blemishes that you can see underneath the bridge as we walk over now, they're, they're just filler off where, where we had like all the nail holes holding the yeah. pile down and everything. They work back through now, and you can see where, when we walk under span A in a minute, you can see where they've started to, to finish everything up and start to come through and clean everything up now. That so it is really taking shape. <laughs> it looks up. remarkable. Yeah, that finishes it all off, doesn't it? That's brilliant. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Again, the, the guys from Bots did a, a really, really good job of getting all this, all this done. Absolutely. The stainless steel fencing that you can see over the back there, yeah. um, that's to go around the edge of the open channel. Um, we couldn't install any of this before. So the, around this section. Oh, so go around here, okay. Here. Yeah. So we couldn't install any of that before because we had all of the, the temporary beams spanning across the, the top of the water. That's hole right, and all yeah. Full worker. So that they've drilled all of this and this is ready to go in in the next couple of days. And then basically it's just pretty much surfacing over the, the, the two areas at the moment. Wow. We are having issues with concrete supply at the moment because of the cold weather. Yeah. Um, so we can't pour concrete in freezing conditions. Okay. And most of the time this week, the water supply to the batching plants has been completely frozen. Okay. Um, which has basically prevented us bringing concrete into site. So, so the, over the next kind of week before we break up for Christmas on the uh, 23rd of December, all of this sand that you can see underneath now will be cleared out. Yeah. And if we can pour concrete, our focus is just getting this up to the, the finished surface and level prior to us putting the granite sets on. Yeah. Wow. Well, this is all filled in. I think they were just filling this in, weren't they? The... They, were, they were starting to, yeah. So yeah. We, we've still got bits, uh, bits of filling work to do in here. And then we, we've got the new ramp to construct up onto Marine Parade. Yeah. The guys down at the front at the moment, uh, they're working with a 70 ton excavator and they're installing the eel ramp. So that's one of the pieces of the eel ramp that you can see in the background okay, over there. Yeah. That's getting lifted in today. So in total, there is 10 sections to the eel ramp. Uh, today will be the last two pieces going in. As you can see, we've been filling in, in the temporary channel, uh, not the temporary channel, we've been filling the, the new channel in at the minute just to kind of divert the water flow down that side while we work over the opposite okay. side at the moment. 
as I mentioned in probably two or three videos ago when we were when we were doing the eel ramp, there was no way we would ever have got the eel ramp in before divert, like if, if we had to wait to divert the water back over as permanent alignment, yeah. there's no way we would have ever got the eel ramp back in um, because of the, the, the pre-casting programme. Uh -huh. And we didn't receive these units until the start, start of this. That's yeah, right. I think it was the they second look, week in, or the second or third week in November. They look like quite big units as well. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're very complex shapes because they've got to be angled and profiled back down to the existing rock level, which is underneath all the sand there, which is why it's so can, deep. You yeah, can you see, can see the their heads. You can just about see their heads, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So as you walk over into the corner now, you can have a bit of a, a view from out, out here at the three spans now, now all the full work stripped out. Wow, yeah, that's amazing. The fencing that runs along the top of the link bridge on both sides has got a temporary blue ratchet strap that you can see at the minute. Yeah. That gets removed and then every 100 mil up the post, there's a there's a wire strand to run through. Okay. But we can't we can't order the wire strand until all of the fencing's installed because we need to measure the exact length. If it's, right. If it's too, if you don't order it, it, it pretty much the right length. It's either too slack or it's okay. not long enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. We, we install everything and then run a, run a almost a string line through and then measure the measure length, length off that. Okay. Um, so that's st remarkably the Stone, impressive. Stoneman have ordered the the wires and they should be here within the next two weeks and then that comes the blue ratchet strap comes down and the permanent. Um, system goes back in then. Brilliant. There's not a lot left to do in here really, no. it's just, just infill concrete now and, and the surfacing and uh, as and when the weather allows us to do it. Like I mentioned, we, we can't we can't pour in freezing conditions. Absolutely, um, yeah. Yeah. So and it has been <laughs> bitterly cold. Yeah. Minus four to seven I think when I was out doing my photography. Like you mentioned earlier, it is amazing how much space we've actually yeah. got there. We've, we've got enough room to park the trailer up and actually move the forklift around now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're just coming back through from the top of Marine Parade now. So that will be the, the lower ramp as you go down into the underpass then, uh -huh. which will join into section A where we were just. And then you'll be able to come around the top section and then down onto the new link bridge that we're casting now. So this was all, all of this work in front of us here was completed as part of the Marine Parade package. That's right. And then from where you see the fences, that's, that's where we've been completing works under the Phase 2B contract. So there's probably um, about 30 metres of fencing to install on the left-hand side. Uh -huh. uh, that goes in just after Christmas. The section in front of us, that is ready for regulating and surfacing. Again, we can't pour that at the, at the minute just because of concrete supply from Exeter and Newton Abbott being shut off at the minute. Yeah. Um, so this all gets regulated through and then final surface and level is on the, the, the same sort of level as yeah. the, the weep hole on the right hand side as yeah. you come up then. Okay. So we'll probably be about three or four hundred mil higher than what we're stood on at the moment. Uh -huh. Well exciting, we're going to go over the bridge. Indeed. First non-rail related worker to walk over the bridge. Wow, <laughs> I'm honoured. Let's do this. So, wow. on the left-hand side, uh, we've got the stainless steel system and stainless steel hand railing along the top. Yeah. On the right-hand side, there is a lean-in uh, edge oh, so nice. people can kind of admire the view and look out to see, um, which is made up of stainless steel on the front and underneath, and then uh, a piece of marine ply, well, marine-grade timber, sorry, should I say, on top. The rebate that you can see on the floor, that's for where we need to cast the drain and this channel in. Yeah. So when it does rain, um, the water falls from left to right as we're walking down now. Yeah. And then there's a longitudinal fall on the deck from the centre and the water runs off the deck both sides. Right, okay. At the bottom of each section of the stainless steel fencing that you can see, there's a kick stainless steel kickboard. Yeah. Uh, that's just to stop people kicking materials Dust down and, to people yeah. walking underneath. Sand so, and stuff, so yeah. sand, stone, if there's any like little bricks that come up here and it just prevents materials from, from rolling over okay. the edge and dropping down onto people. It's someone's sandwich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or chips. Sensory chips down here. So as you walk over, then we come back into section B, uh, where you can either carry on down into Dawlish, or you can go back down the stairs and back down into the Stillen Basin area. So you can see now from up the top, the two communal areas. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's looking a lot more vast, the communal areas now, all the equipment is in here now, all the the framing and stuff is, yeah. And like, like I mentioned about the, the wire strands running through this stainless steel system, uh, uh, fencing system, that happens down on the, the Stillen Basin as well. So yeah. the, the, middle, the middle supports that you can see at the moment, they're only temporary, they come off. It's just 
what we have to have in place for um, preventing people falling underneath while we're, while we're temporarily doing yeah. the job. And then the last thing to do structurally in this side of the basin is to close that, that section of the, 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 the seawall up, which we, we can't do at the minute because we're still building the eel ramp down at the bottom. Yeah. I think if we go back to the middle of the bridge, we might be able to see the guys working down. So they're just getting ready to drop that last unit in now. There's, uh -huh. a, there's a bit of a gap in between the two precast units that you can see there. Yeah. And that's designed to fit the first unit in, um, which is that, which is that one there. there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You can see like where that little nib, nib slots, slots into the other one. Yeah. At the minute, the lads have created a temporary bund around them again, just because we're in leaps. Um, not really the ideal time or tide type to be installing no, no. Uh, the precast because you, you don't get much of a, a low, really. It doesn't go out much more than that no, during, during no. this period. So then there's, those will be the last two units, and that's the eel ramp done then. Um, and then finally, once, once we agree a date with um, Julian, um, from back in the marine services, which is the captain of the, the Terra Mare. That's right. He's going to come back in then and collect the 70 ton excavator for us. So this will be the same surfacing which runs throughout there. Once we've finished, it just has a, a bit of a clean up to bring the pink and the grey back out of it. Uh -huh. Just because it's a bit sandy and, and dusty from the, the cement at the minute. Wow. <laughs> Blimey. So yeah, we're back, back up to the top now. So the the 750 diameter sleeves that you can see, they go all the way back down to rock level, yeah. which is what we were kind of digging down and breaking back down to yeah. to, form, to form these voids. We then install a permanent 660 mil diameter steel casing, um, same as what we're doing with the piling rig on the other side at the moment, uh -huh. back down to beach level, and we drill that two or three meters into the rock and that stays in place. Then. Okay, wow. So over this weekend, um, We'll be lifting the piling rig back over to this side, so the white blocks that you can see. Yeah. We're not really coming up any higher than what this the level of this concrete is at the moment. Yeah. Because that's that's the level of the underside of the pile cap. Yeah. So the pile cap is what what we um, cast over the top of all the piles to join them all together, mm -hmm. similar to what we did down in in section A. Yeah. So all all of this gets cast together with a big kind of steelwork pile cap, um, and then. So we don't cast concrete in where that pile cap's going. We're using those poly blocks or the polystyrene blocks yeah. to get us back up to the same level that we're stood at at the moment to put the pile and rig on over Christmas. Wow. Once the piles are installed, then the poly blocks come out, the black casings get cut back down to that concrete level, and then we cast the pile cap in there. Brilliant. Impressive. So it's a different hole from last week. <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, <laughs> 10 days ago. <laughs> they, were, they were deep in last week. Yeah. Hey, well, thanks, Jack, for another informative tour. If you'd like this video, give it a share and another like, and we shall see you on the next one. Thanks again, Jack. No worries. Thanks for coming down again, Neil. Next one will be after Christmas now, I think, Rona. Probably, yeah. But to all the viewers, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas yeah, happy and Christmas. Happy New Year. Yeah, cheers.